Welcome to Backstage Buzz, your one-stop destination for all things tantalizing behind the curtains of fame. Oh wow! Travis Kelsey and the Chiefs made quite an entrance at Mercedes-Benz Stadium for their game against the Falcons on Sunday, September 23rd. Kelsey turned heads in a sharp black suit, paired with bold red shoes and a cap, a look fans immediately recognized as uniquely his. As he passed by, fans couldn't help but notice the TNT bracelet on his wrist, a nod to the Travis and Taylor romance, which Swifties and Tavis fans instantly picked up on and shared all over social media. The outfit was completed with a large black tie, giving off major asterisk men in black asterisk vibes. And that wasn't all, with the heat at the stadium, when they arrived, Travis decided to take his cap off, and oh my goodness, it became a come and see scenario in the comment section, with all types of women shooting their shot, commenting on how fine he is with long hair and that he should stop wearing caps. This vote in the comments by Travis supporters also emphasized that his long hair makes him look way better than his short hair. What do you think? Do you prefer Travis with long or short hair? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Meanwhile, Patrick Mahomes kept it classy with a black suit of his own, but accented it with white accessories, showing off a more polished look. Kelsey, however, has had a slow start to the season, with only 39 yards in two games. Despite the Chiefs remaining undefeated, he'll need to up his game to hit some major career milestones. He's just a couple of receiving touchdowns away from tying Tony Gonzalez for the most in Chiefs history, and a few more yards after the catch will help him surpass Lardinian Tomlinson's career mark. The Chiefs also face some significant lineup challenges, especially with running back Isaiah Pacheco out for six weeks after suffering a fractured fibula. Rookie Carson Steele and veteran Kareem Hunt will step up to help fill the void in the backfield. On top of that, the Chiefs are making some changes on the offensive line, with Wanya Morris starting at left tackle in place of Kingsley Swamataya, who struggled in previous games. The Falcons, fresh off a win against the Eagles, are coming in with momentum, but the Chiefs, led by Mahomes and Kelsey, are still considered the favorites thanks to their powerful offense. Fans are hyped for what promises to be an intense, action-packed matchup as both teams look to secure a crucial win. With Kelsey's milestones on the horizon and Mahomes continuing to lead, this showdown is set to be one to watch.